And fighting is resumed between Azerbaijan and Armenia in the aftermath of the military takeover of Nagano Karabakh. The defense ministries of Armenia and Azerbaijan have accused each other of opening fire the other's positions. The Russian President Vladimir Putin has said that the takeover by Azerbaijan was simply inevitable. His statement comes as ally Armenia's president has turned to the European Union for help. Now, according to Armenia, Azerbaijani forces opened fire at a vehicle transporting food for personnel who were stationed at the Armenian combat outpost in the eastern province of Gekurkunik. While Azerbaijan has accused the Armenian side of opening fire at Azerbaijani positions in the western district of Kalbakar. No casualties were reported from either side. Meanwhile, the EU leaders met with the Armenian Prime Minister Nikol Pashinyan on the sidelines of a summit of the European political community in the Spanish city of Granada. The French President Emmanuel Macron, the German Chancellor Olaf Scholz and the President of the European Council Charles Michel have reaffirmed their unwavering support to Armenia. They've accused Azerbaijan of carrying out ethnic cleansing against the Armenian residents of Nagano-Karabakh and have called for the imposition of sanctions. The Azerbaijan's president, Ilham Aliyev, pulled out of the EU-brokered meeting with the Armenian Prime Minister Nikol Pashinyan, dealing a bit of a blow to prospects for rescuing the peace process between the two countries. The meeting had been aimed at preventing any further escalation and restoring dialogue. Azerbaijan, remember, mounted a lightning offensive last month to retake control of Nagano-Karabakh, whose ethnic Armenian population had broken away in a war in the 1990s. Now, the Azeri offensive prompted more than 100,000 Armenians, ethnic Armenians, to flee from Nagano-Karabakh. Now, Karabakh has been the focus of two wars between Armenia and Azerbaijan in the last 35 years, and they have yet to seal a peace treaty, a task made more urgent by the latest crisis. Now, reacting to the developments, Russian President Vladimir Putin has said that Azerbaijan's military takeover of the Armenian-backed separatist region of Nagano-Karabakh last month was inevitable. He said that it was only a matter of time before Azerbaijan started to restore constitutional order. Now, Putin promised in 2020 that the Russian peacekeepers will protect the Nagano-Karabakh's people, will maintain a ceasefire and will assure access to the only road connecting Nagano-Karabakh with Armenia. But what is interesting is that none of these promises have been kept. Meanwhile, Azerbaijan's security services have released footage of the former self-styled president of Nagano-Karabakh, Araik Hurutyunyan, being arrested and escorted in handcuffs by men in military uniform. And according to the security services, he was arrested on Tuesday in the Karabakh capital. He has been charged with unleashing a war of aggression and terrorism. And according to investigators, Harutun Yan, the head of the Nagano-Karabakh Republic, was involved in recruiting, training and financing mercenaries who participated in hostilities against the armed forces of the Republic of Azerbaijan. Now, according to earlier reports, Harutun Yan was arrested along with two other former presidents of Nagano-Karabakh, Arkady Gukasyan and Bako Sakyan. Vion is now available in your country. Download the app now and get all the news on the move.